Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. This is a fun one. We have a little bit of a beef brewing here between Becca Kufrin and Tammy. Uh, Tammy went on the Game of Roses podcast, and it was like, hey, you know, I... You know, it's good that, that Becca and Thomas worked out. I basically gave Becca to Thomas, or gave Thomas to Becca, however it worked out. I'm going to play that clip of Tammy this week on Game of Roses, and then Becca's response. Becca's wildly defensive of her relationship with Thomas, which I totally understand. She's been kind of, you know, jaded from a few Ari Garrett breakups, you know, already had the proposals, said, oh, I'm never going back. And then all of a sudden she goes back onto the beach and is like, you're tall. And then they, you know, hit it off. So she's unfollowed Katie Thurston for some petty beef. And now she's got this little issue with Tammy here. I'll show you uh, Becca's response. This was, her, this was Becca's, Becca, you might not get this reference, but Becca's got Gary Coleman face. Now, you know, that that's the, what you talking about Willis face? Do you guys know the one? Where does that, you know, that's when, that's what Becca, that's what Becca is saying when she's confronted with um, Tammy possibly uh, take, try, trying to take credit for Becca's relationship. But in some ways, Tammy has a right to take credit. So I'm going to share the Game of Roses clip for you guys right now. Do me a favor, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for bonus behind the scenes content. Go over there, check out all my wedding planning and all the conversations I'm having, the behind the scenes stuff. I'm actually in Hawaii right now. That's why I'm recording this at four in the morning because I'm heading to Hawaii today for a week long trip. It's like a work trip and it's a play trip. Uh, my fiance's got some business going on over there. So I'm going to help her shoot some content. Um, so you can go check out my Instagram at D Neal's. Hers is at Tasha Courtney and we'll be making a bunch of content and I'll maybe be poolside making a couple videos for you guys. I know, must be nice. It will be. Although, I'm going to find out how bad of a photographer I am. You never taste, take a million photos of your fiance. She looks beautiful than everyone. And you're like, honey, look at the creation I made. And she's like, this is, I look horrible. What have you done to me? And, you know, that's how it is taking a photo with someone who's um, uh, a highly, uh, you know, perfect, highly, uh, a perfectionist, if you will. All right. So, anyway, let's get right into it. Um, we're going to play Becca and Michelle discussing a wild week in Bachelor news. But first, let's check out what Tammy had to say on the Game of Roses podcast, which, by the way, has just moved to YouTube to video as well and great quality. The best Bachelor podcasts are the ones not affiliated with the show. We, I mean, isn't that wild? You've got The Bachelor, which is worth a bazillion dollars, and then they make this slop Zoom interview, right? Just, just slop. I mean, yeah, sure, they put a couple decent microphones together, but you know, uh, you know, it's what year is it? Twenty twenty, and then you've got the Game of Roses doing the Lord's work. Have a listen to Tammy, where it's like they're gonna send him in, let him fall in love. In a best case scenario, he falls in love with somebody, and they're about to propose, and then they bring in Kendall to be like, "Wait, I'm still here," and they did exactly that. But uh, yeah, I mean, everybody on Clickbait got preferential treatment. Natasha Parker, they gave her a rose out of thin air. Right. They created a reason to keep her in the show. Right. Yeah, I did Becca have a computer or something to still do the to still do podcast? the podcast? How funny they're like, Oh yeah, they're they're treated so well. They gave them internet. But that's what it is. When you're on the beach as a contestant, you don't get any of that. But Becca Kufrin, they're they have podcasts through The Bachelor, so they let them continue to do that. Something like that. And check her emails and look at all the gossip. And by the way, Becca Kufrin, she's one of the few former leads that has been on Bachelor in Paradise after having been a lead. They, you didn't normally do this in the past because it's kind of like beneath them. But she's like, oh, you know, I'll come for a little bit. You know, I'll, I'll make a few bucks. I'll hang up by the pool. Uh, watch clips of the show. I think she and... was, um, what is it? They watch you when you do that because you mm. can't look it up. But definitely she was more favorited. I mean, she, if, if I didn't give her Thomas, there was no way that she would have stayed on the beach. Wow. You hear that? If I didn't give her Thomas, there's no way she would have stayed on the beach. Let's just listen to that. And, and Tammy, look, oh, okay, there's the thing here. Tammy thinks she's been kind of villainized on the show. I think Tammy's really funny and she's a good asset for the show. But she also doesn't realize when she says things, that's like, what? So Tammy's saying, if I didn't give her, if I didn't give her Thomas, like Thomas is like, um, you know, like a, a basket of pears you order and send to somebody. When you do that, because you can't mm. look it up. But definitely she was more favorite. Watch I mean, their reaction. She, if, if I didn't give her Thomas, there was no way that she would have stayed on the beach. But yeah. they would have made it. They're like, so what, they're like wait, wait, what? Right. I mean, it all worked out in the end. Like a, I think they're like a, a great couple. Sure. Mm -hmm. And everything works out what about in the, the end. But the give me that Thomas was the part. way in. Wait, what do you mean gave her Thomas? Because <laughs> like, they asked me, or like he asked me, <laughs> and she asked me if she could take him on a date. So you, you glazed over the part where you made Thomas a transactional gift. Thomas isn't Venmo. You know, I Venmoed her Thomas, and I said, go get him, you know. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. If I said oh, no, because gotcha. I asked him, I go, if I said no, would you have gone? He goes, no, I respect you too mm. much. So Thomas respects Tammy too much to have gone on a date with Becca. Uh, well, I mean, that's that's fine. You could have destroyed that relationship. I know, but who? what kind of a jerk would I be? They're ha- no, so I, happy. He's kidding. He goes, you could have destroyed that relationship. And she goes, I know, but I'm the moral person here. Like, Tammy, we're kidding. We keep together now. <laughs> yeah, no, they're great. I agree. Uh, <laughs> I think that's where my personality fell, too, because... I did, never wanted to stand in the middle of a relationship that was bound to happen anyways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I probably would never comment on this, although I'm making a video about it, but I would, I, you know, I don't think anyone is, is seeing Tammy as some sort of threat here. Yet, here's Becca's response. I'm going to play the whole video. It's just under two minutes. So here's Becca's response to the different, drama that's, the, to the different drama that's going on. Um, and then, of course, to she doesn't mention Tammy by name, but it's kind of funny her response. Much went down this past week in the world of Bachelor Nation. I feel like a lot. we have slow weeks and then we have crazy weeks, and this was a crazy week. I mean, so this is late. Uh, you know, this week's slow. Last week was crazy, but they get their podcast up so late. So yeah. Not only did we have like this whole big issue between Clayton and some TikTok star. Um, We've had comments being made about people in paradise who still are reflecting on their time. And apparently Thomas was served up to me on a platter, which made me laugh. There's been a lot of- (laughs) Okay, no one said Thomas was served up on a platter. We just just show what Tammy said. Little different, little stretch of the truth, little hamstring stretch there. Platter. (laughs) A, we- a lot of weird ass <laughs> shit being said in this world and I feel like every day I'm waking up and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Dang. Okay, you wanna know what's really funny? Wait, what are your thoughts on that served on a platter? Because anytime somebody says that, <laughs> I think of Rick. <laughs> truly, truly. Well, okay, but we're and, not talking about Rick. <laughs> we're not talking about Rick. I don't know if those were the exact words, but basically Man, somebody in this world said they gave Tammy. Thomas to me in paradise, which I'm like, <clears throat> the last I checked, Thomas is a grown ass man and can what make his own decisions. Wolf? But if you want to think that, go for it. Damn. I don't know. It's been weird. <laughs> Every day there's like a new weird ass headline that I just can't keep up with. Well, you gotta. Well, that's the problem with society. Is you're if you're just reading the headline, and it's on my videos, by the way, you're gonna get clickbaited to hell. <laughs> the headline is, you know, the headline of this video is like all out war between Tammy and. But the idea is, if you, I gave you, I if they what? What, what are you talking about, Willis? If you're just reading the headline, you're not getting the full story. Now Tammy came off perfectly fine. She was saying, oh, you know, Thomas is a gentleman. The reason why that I, I gave him to you is because he was such a gentleman. He wouldn't have gone without my permission. Whether that's true or not, fine. But, you know, Tammy's, you got to give respect to someone like Tammy. She's a blue-collar bachelor alumni in the sense that she's not a lead. She doesn't have a gigantic following. She's done the show, you know, she's done The Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, and she's got six other jobs like she talks about. She's going on Game of Roses podcast. She's trying to give them something. She's trying to explain, you know, so you have Becca here saying, oh man, can you believe it? They're still trying to recap their time in Bachelor in Paradise. It's like, yeah, they're trying to make money. They're at work. They're just doing their job, just like you, but they don't have a podcast that pays them like you do again i know i'm being a little too but it's it comes off to me a tad bit snobby to be like becca you are a part of the you're a cog in the bachelor machine you get how it all works those contestants didn't have the privilege that you had to get dumped by ari in a way in a way that was so brutal that you became the sort of darling of bachelor nation then was made bachelorette then didn't work out with garrett because of you know problematic messages and what all these other issues and then and you finally made it work out. So it's like, come on, a little bit of love, a little bit of love for these plebeians, you know, out there just trying to do their work. And I feel like lately my give a shit level has been at a zero because I've been so exhausted that I'm just like, what else do people, what other weird stuff do people have to say these days? Well, I'll show you some videos. <laughs> what you got? Throw it up. Yeah, I think it would be a great, we'll never, this will never happen because I'm not a, like approved in Bachelor Nation, which I think is why our channel is so popular because we can actually say what we, we feel and kind of call them out. Uh, looking at you, Madison Pruitt. Uh, we can do, we can have fun with them. Uh, but, you know, I, I think it would be a very fun thing if if there was like a round table where i shared the news stories with the contestants so once a week i would sit down with the contestants and be like all right tammy said this about you becca what do you have to say all right becca had to say that and then you know kind of just like play like sort of moderator this would never happen but you know a boy a boy can dream i mean you mean you're not like 
<laughs> holding Thomas in that relationship against his will. <laughs> Oh, apparently Just over I there. I don't know. I don't know. So now, uh, now Thomas is in a hostage situation. So they've really, they've really extended uh, Tammy's words to a point where I'm actually impressed now. Um, yeah, no, uh, that was funny. We had a nice little chuckle about it. A good little chuckle they had. Of course, Becca unfollowed, like I said, Katie Thurston after Katie Thurston included Thomas in her 12 Days of Mess. So I can understand she's protecting her relationship. She likes it. I get it. I'm, I'm, I, the only thing in, in my life that I'm really uh, viciously protective of is probably my relationship. I let people make fun of me. The second you bring her into it, it's like, you're blocked. You're done. We don't do that. Uh, so I get it. And then also, if you want more content, I've got the Dave Neal Show. I've been covering the Johnny Depp Amber Heard uh, lawsuit, which is just wild. And I've got a new video dropping this morning. It's already out if you're watching this. And it is Johnny Depp li like reacting to the audio of Amber Heard admitting to abusing him, to hitting him. It's pretty wild stuff. His storytelling, I believe it's just to be fascinating because he's He's one of our, he's one of the biggest actors to ever walk this earth. And he's out there just like acting out things on, I mean, it's like, it's like it's his stage in some weird way. And we're all just like, this is wild. They'll never be able to make this more interesting than what we're watching right now. As far as like, if they ever, if they ever do a, a movie of what's going on, it will not be as interesting as the actual tapes that we've been watching. If you're uh, into checking out that channel, just go to Dave Neal show. And as I've mentioned, I'm in Hawaii. I'm recording this at 4 a.m. before my flight. So if uh, you want, you want Steve the behind the scenes, go to at D Neal's um, on Instagram or pa uh, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you guys in Hawaii. Bye everybody. Thank you.